plus solutions, Jake. your yep, Jake, Central Motion Spine Sport, your back pain experts, your hernia disc pain experts. Um, we wanted to come through today with the the title that, that Jake and I had come up with was you know fix your back with these four easy to follow steps. And this is essentially what um, you know everybody we try to think of what can you do at home that we can teach you that is the most like you know pared down the most important things you can do right now. For any kind of acute, you know, lower back um, pain. Yeah. So the first thing we have is stay active, right? Um, a lot of times when people get injured or have a low back injury with herniated disc, where you might have that leg pain, people think, "Oh, well, I just want to, you know, take a break, stop doing whatever I'm doing, uh, bed rest, mm -hmm. and I'll be good in a couple days." And that that used to be the way we go about things, but that's that's in the past. Now we know that we always say movement is medicine. Okay? So the more we move, the more we stay active, uh, the better we're going to be, and we're going to you know, build, build back up to um, get past this injury and then become better and stronger after and prevent that injury in the long term. If we stay moving, stay doing whatever exercise routine or sport or whatever activity we're trying yeah. to do. Movement can be limited. Yeah. You know, I mean, it's definitely possible and very normal for your range of motion, the, the, the amount of movement you can do, right? That can be limited at times, but I still saw a post the other day, someone had posted that they went to an orthopedic doctor and, they, and the advice was to lay flat on their back for a few days, you know, and avoid exercise for like two weeks. And I was like, I don't know, I wish I had that emoji, the face slap, like, I, I don't know how old this guy is, I don't know, I'm trying to think of like, what situation would that possibly, possibly be, uh, you know, good advice, and I just can't think of like, I just, I, that's why they post it, I think even, they know that that doesn't sound right, I mean, related to, think, think back to when um, you used to see, well, I don't know if you can think back that far, but even now, if you have a knee surgery, right, someone has a knee surgery, they get that thing moving right the away. very next day. Yes. We used to put those people in casts for, for weeks, yeah. and then afterwards, we figured out, wait a minute, they don't do as well, because it's all stiff, and it doesn't move, and it all heals all bad. Um, so now it's like, okay, get it moving, day one, you know, no later than day two, really. Right, same kind of thing. Think of this as an injury, you know, to your, to your low back. Um, it's soft tissue, it's mechanical. Like I said, certain movements may be limited, but do something that you can do that feels better overall. A lot of times it's walking, uh, it could be swimming, it could be biking, something where you're feeling a little better, not producing any symptoms that go away. Um, like you said, uh, movement is medicine. You know, just keep, keep moving. Yeah, definitely. Okay, second thing on our list was posture correction or posture awareness. Mm -hmm. So there's not necessarily one perfect posture, okay? We're not gonna tell you to no, no, we're too we're too dynamic of creatures. We move sit up straight like this all day long. If you do that, you're gonna be in pain. We're not gonna tell you to slouch all day long. So the best posture is a variable posture, right? So you wanna you wanna be changing your posture throughout the day. You don't wanna just be leaning this way, you wanna lean the other way a little bit and move. So one of the things that you commonly teach or we commonly teach is the slouch over correct. Mm -hmm. Okay. Do you want to these, demonstrate that? Yeah, that's fine. Coach me through it. These these tissues, like you were saying, they don't get great, you know, blood flow to them. Um, they need their nutrition, the, the blood that carries oxygen and all the healing, you know, nutrients you need through loading, like a sponge. You got to squish them and unload them, squish them and unload them. That's why being just completely still is not good. Even in a even in a really you know high posture for too long, eventually your body's going to tell your brain, hey, like you got to move out of this. This is uncomfortable. So yeah, what we do is we sit all the way to the back of the chair. And I'd go all the way, like slouchy, slouchy, let those hips rock back. We don't want to be there, that's too far. And then overcorrect real tall, and that's a little bit too much, that's uncomfortable. Relax off that position about 15, 20%, and that's spine neutral. So usually I get, uh, actually to the, to the front of the chair. Yeah. It's easier to teach in the front of the chair, yeah. so you can get this, you can get this pelvis like rocking backwards, slouch, and then come up over, overcorrect. So you just explore those two end ranges, all the way slouched, all the way tall, and then from here, relax up that about 15, 20%, boom, there you got this nice spine neutral, a natural curve here, a natural curve here, and then the ears lined up with the shoulder. Then, scoot your hips all the way to the back of the chair. And if you need to, you can put a little bit of like a, a soft towel or something back there to keep you in that, in that um, neutral uh, spine position. That's, that's the posture correction. Perfect. Next thing we got is an exercise that a lot of people, especially with low back pain, respond to. Mm -hmm. Um, so we'll demonstrate that here. I'll go yeah. lay down here. Okay. So 
Typically, a lot of patients go through some repeated movements just to see how they respond to a certain direction and then whether it makes it better or worse because that gives us a bunch of information. But a lot of people respond to this one here where you'll just lay you know, face down on the table and you'll basically go into a push-up position, okay? So you're going to keep your hips on the table the whole time or on the floor as you press up and all the motion is going to come through your arms, okay? Yep. The goal here completely relaxed through here. He's not clenching his glutes. He's not up off the table here. It's not an exercise. You're not strengthening anything. It's not a plank. It's not a, don't keep your, your core tight. Um, this is a breathe and sag down. You want to compress and kind of load these lower uh, lumbar joints. This is not one that's necessarily for everyone, but the, it's going to help more then it's going to hurt. This is the one that most likely will be correct for you. If not, let me know. We'll change it. But this is going to be much more likely to be so you're going to pump into it, lock, sag, and then down. It's not, he's not sustaining it or holding it. He's pushing in, down. Now do the, do the wrong way. Come down. And then come up and let this come up. So he's here. That's not right. Tense. Tense. Tight glutes. Yep. Tight there. Now just now breathe out. Let that sag. See how I see the difference? You want a huge, huge curve here. This is to just to passively sag down to the to the floor, okay? And then come down. Yep. So uh, sets of eight or ten, not a ton of them. Sets of eight or ten. Come back up and then just kind of like move around. What, what change? What do I feel? Do I move better or worse? If things are starting to get better, you continue on. If it doesn't, something feels wrong, then you stop it. But like I said most of the time that one's going to be more correct, um, or it's going to be correct more often than it's going to be incorrect. Cool. And then show us the, that fourth one. So once we yeah. get some movement through the lumbar spine, right? Very important, like I said, it's not a strengthening thing. This is very passive through here. Yeah, you use your arms and chest muscles, but there's no abs or, or, or glutes or hip muscles that are um, being activated. But now, what Jake's gonna show you, now we can actually use some of those muscles now that we're feeling better. Yeah, so I'll go with the uh, yeah. 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 Okay, so one of the things we can do is like an air squat, okay? Simple, you can do it anywhere. I mean, you're getting up and down from a chair all day. Yeah, or, or you can hang on to back. Yeah, yeah, you can, you can even hang on to Use something. Yeah. Yeah. Perfect. So you'll, depending on your pain level, I mean, obviously. You've got to teach you how to move and bend yeah. again. I mean, so you're not, so you're not so broke. Work. Just by holding on to something like that, back of a chair, you'll come down into a squat, and then you can just come back up. So he's okay. keeping a nice neutral posture here. He's moving through his, he's hinging through his hips and knees yeah. and ankles. And then coming back up. And I'm not using my back to pull myself up. I'm squeezing through the hips. coming this way. Right, yeah. exactly. Yeah. Yeah, it's nice and so yeah. you squeeze through the hips and use your hips to power yourself up in the air. I'd even slightly, yeah, slightly, slightly extend at, at the top. There you go. You know, you can get a little bit of extension. Mm -hmm. And then as you're doing those air squats, um, to start with, go ahead and hang on to something. Yep. Um, sink the countertop just so you have a little bit of balance. But then that's the exactly. sets of 10 of those. Those usually feel pretty good. And then I'll show you a quick little hip thing before we go into adding weight to it. So basically we want to be able to fold through our hips rather than round through our low back. Okay? Perfect tool is a PVC pipe or a broomstick or whatever you've got handy. But you'll have three points of contact. The back of your head, the middle of my back, and then right in the belt over here. Okay? And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back, stay high through the hips, and stay neutral through that whole movement. Okay? So I'm not over rounding. I'm yeah, not show the, show the big, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Pick something up the wrong way. Like See, it's not, it's not touching all three points. Great. Instead, I can come down, boom, pull that, pick up whatever I need to pick up, and then come back up. Keeping that back in a nice neutral posture, because it's yeah. not fixed, meaning you had an injury, and it takes time to heal. So stay active, but also protect it at the same time. It's kind of a, it's kind of a weird country, you know, contraindication or an oxymoron, right. like active rest. I mean, stay active, but don't stress it too much with a lot of loaded, uh, bending here, you can if you want, if you use you know the hips to bend and pick things up. That's different. Right. So you can show you that. Yeah. So then, if we add a weight, it doesn't necessarily have to be weight. It can be whatever you're picking up throughout the day. But you'll get that you know close to your center of gravity, close to your center of mass. You'll go through that hip hinge movement, keeping the butt high. You'll come down, pick up the weight, squeeze through the hips to come up, go into that extended position, slight, yeah. slight extended position, and then you come back down. You can set it down the same way. And you can do sets of you know five to ten, depending on your tolerance and your mm -hmm. your activity level. Yeah, only only wrong if 
something starts to come down the leg with practice. But right. you'll know within a few, it should, you know, and you're like, okay, not ready for that one yet. Go back to step one, two, three. I mean, it's just recycle back through until you're ready to do this one without overall increasing symptoms. You can have, you can have a little bit of increased symptom here, you know, or here with doing it. Like, oh, that's kind of sore as I do it. Yeah. But then, you know, as I start, I like, you know, continue on or get one way down the leg. We gotta reassess that a little bit differently. Um, this one is for the very mechanical low back pain that most of us get. In fact, we'll all get it at some point in our oh, life. Most likely, man. Yep. Actually, I have it right now. My left side hurts, so I'm gonna work on some of these in a second. So, um, <laughs> anything else that you had on there? No, I think I think that's a great, yeah, a great start. Yep. Yeah. All right, your low back herniated disc experts. Uh, I got a program called the you know herniated to healthy disc program that will help you step-by-step step get through this kind of problem if you're struggling with it, if you're frustrated, if you don't have any clarity to where you know, you're wondering, what should I do? What shouldn't I do? You know, no one's told me. I, if you're very frustrated and wondering about this kind of problem and want to get back to the things that Jake just showed you, right? Squatting, deadlifting, um, running, any kind of activity that you're really wanting to do, but just you just don't know how to get there. Yep. Okay. Okay. Thanks a lot, guys. See you guys.